I can't wait to start this symmetrical African mask with you. Let's go ahead and get started. To make your mask symmetrical, grab a sheet of black paper and also take a look at some of these African masks to help you get started coming up with some designs of lines and shapes that you could utilize in your mask. Find one of the templates that you would like to use for your project. As you found the one that you would like to use, take your pencil and trace around the overall shape. You'll notice some shapes that are on the inside part of your mask. Where it has a line, trace the line. Where it has a shape, trace the shape. You'll notice my rectangular shaped mouth, my oval shaped eyes with the line that makes up for the nose and the nose connects to the eyes. So I'm gonna now take a moment and cut out the mask. Now that the mask has been cut, I'm going to gently and carefully fold. You'll notice that my fold lines match up from one side of the paper to the other. Take your time and don't be afraid to ask someone for some help to match up one side of the paper to the other. Now gently and slowly take your time cutting out the line and the shape that makes up your mask. I love the way that this starts to become 3D, even from a flat piece of paper. Now, on to the fun part of making my mask. I'm going to begin taking some lines and shapes, and boy is that African mask handout super beneficial as I begin working on creating lines and shapes for my mask. These markers are metallic. That means they're going to show up really nicely on top of this black construction paper. What a way to emphasize lines and shapes into these African masks. Whichever kind of line that you want to create, make sure that you're repeating it on the opposite side. Remember these masks are symmetrical. They're the same on both sides. So when I use a line, a shape, or a color on one side of my mask, I want to repeat that same line and shape or design on the opposite side. I just love the way this marker looks on the black paper. Now, to add additional items to your project, glue your mask onto a sheet of white paper. Again, this is going to show great contrast, darks compared to your lights, contrast, opposites. This project does a lot with contrast. I'm going to go ahead and use some additional materials. I took some tissue paper and started gluing that down into the dot of glue where I wanted some additional items for my mask. Again, that whole idea of symmetry. If it's in the center, don't worry about it matching. But if it's on one side of the mask, please make sure that you're using the same materials on the opposite side of the mask. We want them to be as close to being symmetrical as possible. Once I've added on some of these really cool designs, you can use whatever materials Mrs. Foxen has available to complete your really cool African mask. Thanks everyone. Happy art making.